Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a haul video. I went to the Goodwill outlet. I picked up a few things. My name is Melissa, also known as the Thrifty Broad. I am a full-time reseller and I go to places like thrift stores, buy sell trade stores, and the Goodwill outlet to buy things to sell on Poshmark and eBay. First item is this Michael Kors dress. Very cute. I picked up this black men's medium Levi trucker jacket. It is faded and I thought I, I saw a few comps and this is not the premium one. This is not the leather patch on the inside. And there was one that sold recently for $70 and it was basically this exact style. This, I think this exact one, um, all the tags look pretty much the same as mine. So I'm kind of excited about that. Oh, I was excited about this. This is the Babaton group, which is Aritzia. Um, this is the Park City jacket. This isn't the long one. This is the shorter one. <clears throat> yeah, so I was excited about that. I found only one comp, but it was from the longer one. This sold on Poshmark for $80. I found this jacket. This is a vintage um, velvet blazer for a woman. And the tag... Let me unbutton this. Okay, here's the tag. This is vintage. The fashion plays. This is by Sears and Roebuck. I think this is probably the 80s. I mean, the shoulder pads are really light in them, so maybe the 90s. That is the last one that's up. And this is Talbot's. This is pure silk. So this is some gingham pants. And they are like a at the ankle pretty much or for someone taller maybe capris this girl i found her and i was really excited look how pretty this uh coat is and it ties in the front has this high low thing going on it's stunning i do remember what i priced this as i priced this at 75 dollars plus shipping Okay, so this is made well, size small, but it's oversized. Like, this is a small, it would fit me. I could probably model this, but it's a hooded sweatshirt that has a kangaroo pocket. So I got this dress, which I, has some, a bit of staining in the um, armpit area, which I think I'm pretty sure I can get out. But this is a collab, a Prabal Gorong. Oh, I'm probably butchering that. I'm so sorry. For Target, Prabal, 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 Prabal Gorong. I'm going to go with it because I like to sound words out. Anyway, I thought it was this really beautiful dress. And it was a collab with Target. And some of those collabs can do really well. It's a size 12, so it's a nice bigger size. It does need to be washed. I don't know if I'm going to fix it or not or just sell as is. I don't know. So we'll see. Anyway. This is the dress. It's gorgeous. Cannot see it. I'll probably put it on the mannequin and then pop in a picture. But it does have some issues right here. So I need to like fix that or something. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, <clears throat> let me show you who it's by. And you'll understand why I picked it up. This is Gunny Sacks for Jessica McClintock, basically. Um, San Francisco is a size 9. But it's a beautiful dress. I love the asymmetrical lines. So, and here's the close-up of this fabric. I think, I think even if I didn't fix it, it would be fine. So, we'll see about that. Okay, this dress is beautiful. I'm not sure if it goes for a whole hell of a lot. This is NSR. I don't know where this is sold. This is an extra small, but it looks generous. But look how pretty this is. Like, I love these sleeves. I love these sleeves. It's nice gold color. Um, this is perfect for New Year's Eve. That's coming up in a few months. Can you believe that? And we're almost at the end of the year. I cannot believe it. I should be able to believe it. I cannot believe it. Anyway, so I got this 
Segu, Segu, I don't know. Silk, nylon, and angora rabbit hair. Made in Hong Kong. It's a large, and it's this really pretty, soft, um, multi, like, gray. Gray and white and black speckled. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Speckled skirt. I found this. And this is tight. American Standard tight, size 7 regular. So these are some flare. These are like an iridescent um, red color, like a cranberry. So I thought, okay, these are two of my two thoughts. I'm gonna, I haven't really looked these ones up yet, so I have no idea what they comp for. So I'm gonna do that when I edit this video. But if they don't comp all that well, I'll probably take them to Crossroads. They would love something like this. Um, this is Rag and Bone. But this is 100% cashmere. It is extra small, but it's extra cute. So look at this. I love it. And I've not been able to find any holes anywhere. Like I've looked over this a lot for a while. So this is Polo by Ralph Lauren. And this is 100%. Uh... Oh my God polyester but it has its tie still and it has you know the big horsey this is juicy couture extra large the fabric tag has been washed too many times I mean not washed but it's faded over time right I don't think they use the best ink that stays forever but this is super soft and I was able to find the exact same one in um but in black listed and theirs you could still read their tag was 100% cashmere so is this so I'm like it's so soft it has to be 100% cashmere okay this one I need to actually replace the button um or find another decorative button which I don't think will be hard so this is like a I'm just gonna put it on this is an extra large or a large I believe but it's forgiving it's generous this is Orcas Island. This comes from a company that was not Orcas Island. I don't know if they're still there. It's called Rosware. And I will show you that. Okay, here it is. Let me show it to you. Rosware. Anyway, so it's basically art to wear. Because look at the back. The back is where all the action is, or most of the action. And it has this interesting button, but it's missing one. So I have a bunch of buttons that I'm just gonna probably pick two and replace the buttons. Um, I will still pick up their sweaters. Not always their trapeze dresses, they don't do that well. Anyway, here is Free People. It's an extra small, but it's of course oversized. And I can't remember the exact style name. I did find it from the OB number. And if you don't know, if you're not, if you're new to reselling or you're not familiar with Free People, Free People shares their R number, which is 66170, with um, Anthropology and Urban Outfitters because they're own, all owned by the same parent company. So um, Free People has an OB number on the inside that you can look up. You know, I think, is it Urban Outfitters also has those? Anyway, you can look up the style name using the OB number. So that makes it a lot easier. If it's not too old, if it's too old, it'll be hard to find that information, you know, just like anything else. This is a, uh, I don't think it's made anymore. It's chrisTriola.com, 100% cotton. And it's like, art, not art to wear necessarily, although some of her pieces are, but it's, interesting oh my mask Let's throw that away okay so it's you know interesting pieces and i really like the the textured you know sweater needs a little bit of lint rolling but not much and it's in great condition and some of these can go for around you know 60 70 dollars which you know i'll try for we'll see what happens I'm pretty flexible in my pricing because my my price for everything is cheap. Everything here was like 
two dollars and like 46 cents each so i'm really excited about that cost of goods this is rei it's just a rain jacket it's nothing special so it's a large it's a rain jacket you know and i live in a rainy state and there's lots of other rainy states and we're about to get rain for like months on end um I mean, not for probably another month or so, but yeah. Sometime in October, it'll start raining and it won't stop until it gets too cold. This is after six and it is a really pretty halter dress. I did find the exact style. It has this sexy slit up the side, it has this cut out in the back. This is really pretty. So excited about that i found this I'm pretty sure it's vintage is it chemise no i don't know you tell me I'm sure i said this wrong in another one 100 silk has these really cool like um polka dots are all different color not colors but all different sizes and it's just really pretty definitely barbie core okay this is Alex Evenings. This is a size 14. It's a great dress. Mother of the bride, all that. You know, this really pretty purple dress. I think this will be fine. It's part of a two-piece set. So I think there's probably a jacket that went with us at originally. It doesn't have the jacket anymore. But that's not a deal breaker. Yuga. Handmade custom dress. Okay, this thing is big. So let me. Okay. Like look how, but look how cute the buttons are in the back. So adorable. Very lagging look, very forgiving. It's one size fits all. I love this Peter Pan collar. Very cute. This I was really excited about as well. This is Patra, and this is an evening dress. Look how beautiful it is on the bottom of the skirt. So pretty. So I was really excited about this. This looks like it could be a good chunk of change. I found this Columbia puffer. It's not goose down. Although that Babaton was, that I showed you earlier, but it's a puffer jacket that's insulated with recycled polyester. It's a fantastic shape. I don't know why people were just passing it up. It has no flaws of any kind. It looks pretty new. It's not new, obviously. Oh, this is really beautiful. This is Patty O'Neill, and it is union made. And this union tag is from 19, I think 76 to 1994 or 1995. I do believe, let me just put this on the hanger and then show you, probably easier. Anyway, I love this like sailor, and this really pretty floral. It's like a ditzy floral print. How pretty is that? This is Ashley. This is vintage. A medium black great staple velvet dress. This is Turnberry. And it is 100% um, extra fine merino wool men's sweater. Henley zip. So I think this will do great. This is J. Crew Mercantile, but it's no longer Mercantile, just J. J. Crew Factory. Um, but this is from what year are you from? I think 2019, 2018. But it's such a nice staple. Um, this is the classic crew. It's a size medium. One button blazer, 
with this band style um, collar, no lapel, but I thought this was a good pickup. It should have had a belt, which I, I don't have an issue selling things without belts. Torrid size one. It's a really cute, um, it's like a coral and black um, polka dot, but I thought, you know, this is great for um, Halloween, you know, these colors are great for Halloween. So this is Esme, Esme, it's, a, it's silk and rayon um, kimono. It is missing its belt, but I don't think that'll be a problem. It does have pockets in the front, so that's good. Pockets are always a crowd pleaser. Here they are. Here are the pockets. I love this brocade fabric. Very pretty. Anyway, and last but not least is this guy. So I'm over in a bin. It's been picked over by everyone at the bins. And I pulled out that coat and this blazer out of that bin. Dun, dun, dun. It's Burberry's. Now, I bet you people do not pick this up because they're like, oh, that's fake. It's Burberry, not Burberry's. No. Vintage Burberry is Burberry's. That's what they used to be called. So, um, this is Union Made. And um, I'm going to list this for like, I think, 250 bucks. Here's the inner tag. Here's the Union tag. It doesn't have a size, so basically how I figure out the size to blazers is I measure the chest pit to pit and double that and that's your that's your size. Anyway, this was made for Jacobson. Jacobson's is probably in a department store of some kind. This is fabric loomed in and imported from Italy. It needs to be dry cleaned. And I believe it's wool. And I love this pattern. This pattern is amazing. So it's a nice two button blazer, has its buttons on the sleeves. So yeah, I was really excited about that. What do you think about my haul? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, yeah, it's a small haul, but it's mighty and it should make me a pretty good profit. Like I spent $105 on everything. And there's a few pieces in here that when they sell, I'm gonna be in pure profit. And in fact, if this sells for anywhere near my $250 I'm gonna list it for, I'll be in pure profit instantly. And I'm really excited about that. So anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. Please hit the bell, please um, hit, well, subscribe, then hit the bell. <laughs> hit the like button, leave me a comment. All those things are free for you to do. It helps me in the algorithm, helps more people find my channel and it makes me happy. So I thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart.